back to another episode of TV Colada. <laughs> January, I didn't get a ton of reading done. I read five books. Okay, that's very low for me, especially in a month that like wasn't even that busy. I just really struggled with life with getting stuff done, with doing anything in January. I found it really, really hard. So I didn't have a great reading month. And that means I should take punishment because from my TBR from last month, I've read As Good As Dead and King of Crows. I have started Malibu Rising for my patron book club and I have not read Monday's Not Coming, which was an audiobook, or The Nesting or Rock, Paper, Scissors. <laughs> but you know, you guys, I've thought about it and I don't think taking punishments is for me. I don't, I don't think it's for me. <laughs> the rules don't apply. I don't know, I just I don't want my reading to be something that I feel punished for. You know, I had a shit month personally in January and I don't want to punish myself even further for that. Like I want to move forward, a new woman, a new me. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to punish myself. So I hope that's okay. Basically, I'm just going to carry over the nesting, rock, paper, scissors and Monday's not coming onto this month's TBR. So I will have like nine books on my Cluedo TBR, but that's as far as I want to take any kind of punishment going forward with this game because, yeah, I mean, I understand like, what's the point in doing a TBR game that picks what you read if you don't read the books? But I'm still going to read them this month and I just don't think punishing myself is really the vibe going forward. It's not the vibe. Stop! I don't think it is. So... <laughs> With that being said, we're just gonna get into the roles for February. I have a lot of video plans for February, but not a lot that I could actually like pick the books for in TBR Cluedo, so it's a little bit difficult, but let's just see if the board was kind to me this month. Okay, time for roll one. Person number three, which is red here in non-fiction. And let's see how many we roll. Whoa. A three and a six. Okay, I think I'll still just try and get one of these non-fiction ones. Um, can I go one, two, th three, four, five, six. There we go. That's number 26, which is something I've been scared to read. So roll one was a non-fiction that I've always been scared to read, which can I just say, fucking chaotic pick. Non-fiction, like I haven't been reading at all. <laughs> I didn't read many last year at all. So the fact that it's forcing me to read some, and not only that, one that I've been scared to read. I just think that's quite mean. I just think that, I just, I just don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm vibing with that. <laughs> TBR Cluedo not caring how I feel. Like so nasty and, that's and what so rude. <laughs> <laughs> so nasty and so rude. But the book I've chosen is The Secret. Now, <laughs> I've always been scared to read this because, listen, it's one of the most popular books ever. Like, it's constantly espoused as like, oh my god, how iconic, like, you know, girl power, she attract the life that is for you. I just never really thought this was for me. But listen, we can try anything once. But this is a non-fiction I've always kind of looked at and been like, because for a while, but when I was like 14, 15, I really liked like self-improvement YouTube. It was a moment, okay? It was just a moment in time. Like some of the books I read from that era, I enjoyed like Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert, I think is a really helpful book in terms of creativity. And this would be, this was that girlie's favorite book. Like all of those girlies in that sphere of YouTube, this was their favorite book. And I was always like, okay, that like that's a little, that's a step too far, but we're gonna read it this month. And who knows, my life may change. I may, it may change, I may attract everything I've ever wanted to this year. Maybe this will be the moment. Maybe this will be the girl. Do you know? I don't know. Okay, time for roll two. Person number two, which is purple here in horror. A five and a two. Okay, I'm just gonna go one, two. And that is number five, which is something with blue on the cover. Okay, so roll two was a horror with blue on the cover. And this was actually quite hard. I looked through my list of all my horror that I have either physically or on audio, and I only had like two that had blue on the cover. But I chose the most blue one, and that is The Woods Are Always Watching by Stephanie Perkins. So it's very blue. There's not just blue on the cover, the cover is blue. Now this is nice and short. It's only about 200 pages. This was very kindly sent to me by the publisher. Um... I think this is one of the lowest rated books on my physical DVR. Like it's it's rated low. It's rated low. This can't be true. 
Tell me it isn't. But I've always been intrigued by Stephanie Perkins' kind of slashery horror. I think cheesy horror might be for me. That's a big, that's a big statement, but <laughs> having read hashtag murder trending, which albeit I think I gave like three stars, but I liked the trashiness of it. I liked the kind of slasher campiness of it. I think maybe this kind of thing appeals to me more than the average person. So all I know about this is that I think we've got friends going on a hike and it leads them to their waking nightmare and then something far worse um, on this like three day hike deep into the woods. So it sounds kind of crazy. It's YA, it's short, but I'm excited to finally read it because it is like a release from last year that I haven't gone to yet and listen we'll just see maybe I'll maybe it'll be so bad I'll DNF it maybe it'll be so great that I love it and I'm like the outlier who knows who knows but we're gonna read it this month anyway this was not something that was in my plans to read this month but uh TPR Quino forced my hand and so we're gonna be reading it roll number three person number three which is red again over here we have a lot of non-fiction on this <laughs> I'm not sure okay um, okay, a one and a five. Let me just move that back. Um, can I get to that one in five or six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, more non-fiction. That is number six, which is something with white on the cover. Why do I always get either the colors ones or word ones? I might need to replace them because they seem to be all I ever get. <laughs> I don't know how, but that is something with white on the cover. So, roll three was another non-fiction. <laughs> the violence! <laughs> and this was one with white on the cover, I'm pretty sure. Is that what you just saw? Yes, <laughs> the colors, all the colors. Oh, that's beautiful, Sandy. I love the colors that you chose. For this, I have chosen Crippled Austerity and the Demonization of Disabled Peoples. So this was another book that was sent to me by Verso Books. I've always been really interested in it. I think the demonization of disabled people, particularly in the UK and the UK media, is a real problem that I've always been interested in. So I'm really excited to read this. I also found the audiobook on script, so I'm gonna like listen along and read it. I probably won't vlog this. It's only like 200 pages and it's something I just really wanna read for my own kind of education. But it's a topic I'm very interested in and I'm hoping that when I do read it, even if I don't vlog it, because I don't think it's like a book that's conducive to vlogging, it will be a book that I can recommend to people and really, you know, yeah, hopefully get a lot of other people to read this if I think it's a good representation. So yeah, I'm finally excited to get to this. It's a book that I've been debating reading for the past couple months if I had a spare moment anyway. So I felt kind of lucky that something came up in TBR Crudo that I could fit this into and hopefully make me read it. Okay, roll four. Person number one, which is green. Maybe let's do the candlestick if we can get to it, because that's phone a friend. I'd love to get that if I can get to it. We've got a one and a six, okay. Can we get to the candlestick in a six or a seven? One, two, three, four, no. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. So we'll phone a friend. So roll four was phone a friend, which I've never actually done before. But basically the idea is that I FaceTime a booktuber who's a friend of mine and they pick a book for me to read off of my TBR. I've never done this before because I just, I don't like <laughs> giving up control. I don't like it. Are you comfortable? I'm scared. Are you scared? Yeah, good. You should be. But I've realized I'm always tending to go for like the books and I want to try and get at least one weapon every month. It's kind of like a mini goal for me. I'm not like holding myself to it, but at least one of the weapons, if not two every month is kind of a goal for me. I'd like to start using them more and putting a bit more of like to, you know, chance up to fate. So this time I'm gonna be FaceTiming my very good friend Nicole from Nicole and Her Books, who I absolutely love. I kind of trust her, I kind of don't trust her. Um, I have no idea what she's gonna pick, but we're gonna FaceTime her and we're gonna see what she picks. I'm so nervous, I hate, I hate giving up control. I hate it. It's hard enough for me to do TBR Quiddo as it is, but let's FaceTime her and see what she picks. Although also it was in fantasy, she doesn't have to pick a fantasy. I haven't even told her what room it was in. The weapons aren't constrained by genre like the books are. But like knowing Nicole, she might pick a fantasy anyway because she reads a lot of that. So let's FaceTime her and see what she says. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I was just 
saying like before I called you, like I I never pick this on the board because I hate giving up control. I hate it. I'm so nervous. <laughs> so I made a list. I stalked you Goodreads. I mean, mm-hmm. which you TBR video is <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but I want to ask because I'm a little bit indecisive. <laughs> Oh, do you know what? Do you know what? Okay. Mm, I don't know if you'll want to pick this, but I'm going to let you know that I've got to do it anyway, so if you're kind. But I have to read Jade War this month, and I currently haven't fit it into anything. Monday's not coming this month because I didn't read it last month. Oh, I was gonna put that down, but you didn't have a physical copy, so I chose Grown. No, that was on my TBL Kudo last month, but I didn't read it, so it's carried over to this month. <laughs> but oh. I can read both. I'm picking Grown. I'm not picking Robin Harp. I'm sorry, it's not. <laughs> I, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> it's not happening. It's not happening. <laughs> Another month. Another month. That's for future Megan. That's her problem. <laughs> No, because I feel like it already got chosen for a different prompt. So I feel like that is too far. That is that is cheating. Okay. That is me bending the rules too much. <laughs> is that too much though? What grown? Like, is that too much for like one author? Do you no. Have to no, I'll read both. I'll try and read one. I'll try and read one that's not coming like later in the month and read grown soon. I'll probably read grown if I can fit it into the vlog I've got planned. I'll read it soon. The book's really good. Ooh. I listened to both of them on audio and they were really good. Okay, I've got to now try and find Grown. I don't know where it is, but um, thank you. I feel like that's pretty kind. I've I've wanted to read it for ages, so I'm glad you're making me read it. I really like it. Just make sure you're in the right headspace for it. That's yeah. The thing. Okay. It's very hard to read at times. Okay. Oh. But it's really good. Okay, I've, I'm happy with that pick. I feel like you were kind of kind. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. I'm going to go find Grown and carry on filming the rest of the video, but thank you! <laughs> Alright, bye bye bye! So, I'm going to be reading both Grown and Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson this month. I am hoping I'm going to be able to fit this into a vlog that I've got planned, like coming out in a couple of weeks, but it depends what that video, what happens in it. You naughty naughty, you teasing me, you naughty naughty. <laughs> But yeah, I feel pretty good about this. All I know about it is that it's about this um, young girl in the music industry whose like mentor is killed and kind of all the signs point to her as having killed him. And I think it's very much about abuse in the music industry and girls, you know, being taken advantage of. I've heard it's very heavy hitting and, you know, emotional and difficult to read, but I'm excited I'm gonna read actually two books from Tiffany D. Jackson this month. This one I will read physically and the audio. Mine's not coming just the audio and I won't vlog it, but I am gonna try and vlog this if I'm able to. And yeah, I'm excited to read it. I was not about to pick Robin Hub. I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna be reading Grown this month. Okay, roll number five. Person number four, which is pink over here in Thriller. And let's see how many we roll. A one and a six. Ooh, okay, can we get to that one in seven? One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Yay! That is number eight, which is a 2021 release. Roll five, ladies and gentlemen, was a thriller that is a 2021 release. And this is a choice that I decided to get my patrons to vote on for our book club. I just realized I haven't had the hat on for this episode of TBR Cluedo. I actually don't know where it is. Oh dear, that's not good. I feel the need to say the F word now. It'll be back next month. I haven't had the hat on. Oh no, I'm sad. <laughs> So this is the round that I got my patrons to vote on for our book club and I gave them four choices which were, hang on, <laughs> what were our four choices? I've forgotten. Okay, so we had the choice of Not A Happy Family by Shari Lapina, Never Saw Me Coming by Vera Kurian, Other People's Clothes by Kala Henkel and The Burning Girls by CJ Tudor. And it was so close throughout the whole thing between Not A Happy Family and The Burning Girls. They were kind of like kept overtaking one another. So I really didn't know what was gonna end up winning the vote. But in the end, our February pick for the Cat Tales Book Club is Not A Happy Family by Shari Lapina which I'm really happy about. I was going to be really happy about either of them because both Shari Lapina and CJ Tudor are kind of thriller authors that I really love reading and really want to read like all of their backlist and all of their new releases. So yeah, all I know about this is that it's like a family who I think the mum and dad are killed the night after they had a dinner party with their children and everyone's shitty. You can't trust anyone. I love rich people getting like murdered. I love it. I'm sorry. I love it. I love it. I, I just, I just think it's fun to read about all of their rich people problems. I think it's fun. So yeah, this won't be in a vlog on my main channel, but I will be doing exclusive vlog and live show for it over on our Patreon. We do a book club every month together and I think this is going to be a fun one. I don't think we've had a thriller yet. And this is like a classic thriller. This is like the ultimate thriller. So I'm really excited to read this with them and read another Shari Lapina because I read The Couple Next Door towards the end. I read that in December. So this is going to be my third Shari Lapina and um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I feel like we're gonna have some fun discussions off of this one. Okay, time for our final roll. I feel like it's been okay so far. A lot of non-fiction. I don't actually know why I'm gonna read for it. I feel like this is the, this is the, let me just stop shaking the dice in my hand. This is the TBR Pluto where I feel like I actually don't know why I'm gonna read for these. Like the other ones I'm like, okay, yeah, I know what I'm gonna read. But this one I'm just like, I actually have no clue why I'm gonna read. Anyway, person number four five which is white here in mystery and then let's see how many we roll a six and a five okay where should we go <laughs> um i don't know when i have this many numbers i'm like this is too much choice let's just go one two three four five i guess which is number 19 which is a book I've hauled recently. Okay, a mystery that I've hauled recently. And lastly, it was a mystery that I've hauled recently. I've chosen A History of Our Places by Shay Earnshaw. I hauled this in December, which I hope is recently enough for hauled recently. I think it is. It may not be the mystery that I've hauled most recently, but it doesn't say the last in that genre you hauled. It says you've hauled recently. So like, December's recently enough. Delusion. <laughs> Convince yourself. So yeah, this is a mystery where we're following this guy who can read people's objects, I think, to find missing people. And he travels to this very isolated community called Pastoral to find someone who's gone missing there. And then he goes missing. And it's kind of a mystery in that. I've heard mixed things about this. Some people have really loved it. Some people haven't. It's kind of got like a magical realism-y, fabulism element to it as well. And yeah, some people have told me it's going to be like my thing, like 100% my thing. And some people have been like, oh, it's just fine. And the ending's a bit shit. So I don't know what to expect, but I'm gonna be reading it this month all the same. This has kind of been one of my most anticipated releases that came out this, this, this year, I think this came out. So there we have it. That is my TBR Cluedo TBR for this month. Obviously plus the three books that I didn't get to off of January's, but I feel like that's a pretty solid TBR. I'm hoping I can fit Grown, if not Grown and The Woods Always Watching into a vlog I'm doing next week, but I won't know until I start filming the vlog. So we'll see, but if I can fit at least one of them in, to it that would be great let me know if you've read any of these what you thought of them which ones you're most excited for me to read as always the patron will be linked down below if you want to come join our book club if you've gotten to the end of this video comment a yellow heart emoji for grown if you've gotten to the end and thank you so much as always for watching i'll see you very soon in another wow. video bye